Early the next morning, walked ten miles into the country. Good day, sir. Well, good morning to you, stranger. I stopped to breakfast with a Mr. Wells and proposed to preach in the evening. He kindly accompanied me through the neighborhood to visit the people and circulate the appointment. A Baptist deacon, name of Hanlon. He's a good soul. Sit, sit, Isaac. How are you, Thomas? Fine. Isaac, this is Mr. Pratt from Ohio. He's on his way to Albany. Albany? You're a bit off the beaten path, aren't you, boy? Mr. Pratt is a preacher of sorts. In fact, he will be preaching at my home this evening. He'll join us, won't you? Do you preach the scriptures, young man? I do. Good. I'll be there. Seven o'clock. We'll be looking for you. Mr. Pratt, are your views of the scriptures broad enough to accept such things as visions and the ministering of angels? They are. Come, sit. What is it, Isaac? Last week, I came across a book. A strange book. Published down in Palmyra. Said to have been originally written on plates of brass or gold by a branch of the tribes of Israel. And discovered and translated by a young man by the aid of heaven. There's even been talk of the ministering of angels. This book, do you have one? Loaned it to my sister. She'll be returning it in the morning, though, if you care to stop by. I will, if it's agreeable. I felt a strange interest in that book. The next morning, I called at his house, where for the first time, my eyes beheld the Book of Mormon. That book of books. The door's open. It's there on the table. Help yourself. I opened it with eagerness and read its title page. I then read the testimony of several witnesses in relation to the manner of its being found and translated. I commenced its contents by course. I read all day. Care for some supper, Mr. Pratt? Eating was a burden. I had no desire for food. Sleep was a burden when the night came, for I preferred reading to sleep. As I read, the Spirit of the Lord was upon me, and I knew and comprehended that the book was true. As plainly and manifestly as a man comprehends and knows that he exists. Do you know what's in this book? I haven't been able to hold on to it long enough to find out. I don't know how to thank you. My joy was now full. And I rejoiced sufficiently to more than pay me for all the sorrows, sacrifices, and toils of my life. I'm on my way to Palmyra. My book. 
I soon determined to see the young man who had been the instrument of its discovery and translation.